honestly that not too many people are going to find that pair of blue jeans from 1880 uh, that's worth like 30000 okay. Here's one with a zipper. If you have one that says uh, on the zipper, zipper, gripper, that's another way of identifying. Ribbon. If there's a single digit right here, that means that you have possibility of 1950s, 1960s, 1970s, single digit. Hey everybody, Patricia Pinky here. I'm the author of the book, Stop Throwing Cash Into the Trash. Um, and today I thought I'd talk to you a little bit about um, Levi's blue jeans, mainly vintage Levi's blue jeans. Now this is something that people can find in the attics, garages, sheds, um, somebody's scrap pile in the basement. Um, and then there's no way I'm gonna be able to talk to you about everything to do with vintage blue jeans because you know that would take you know at least an hour but to bring up some important points about blue jeans you might be able to find today I mean I don't think honestly that not too many people are going to find that pair of blue jeans from 1880 uh, that's worth like 30,000 um, but you may find something from the 70s 80s or 90s so that would be more a logical guesstimate so, I had purchased these blue jeans from a gal who had them in her garage. I, I gave her $50 for all of them. Now, some of them aren't worth very much, but some of them are. And when I say very much, I mean like above $50 to $100. To me, if I have five pairs of blue jeans that can bring in $75 to $100, and I paid $50, I've made a profit. So let me tell you some a little thing about these blue jeans. Number one, um, they're all little e red tab blue jeans, which means, and here's the red, here's the red label here on the pocket. And um, because you see that, the little e, that's automatically telling me these blue jeans are post-1971 could be up to 1978, but let's just say this, they're not any newer than 1978 for sure. And they tried to phase it out in 1971. Now here is a photo of a pre-1971 red tab blue jeans. Okay, so that's a, a really big help right there. Um, of course, you gotta be careful for the knockoffs they're making now in in china but at least you understand this is the main thing okay and then we're going to talk about where was it made okay now this pile here none of these were made in the usa so put those aside and the reason i know that is because um the care tag says made in colombia So here you have, let's see here. Okay, look at, the, here you have it. The language is in Hispanic, it's in um, Asian, Spanish, whatever. Uh, yeah, these are newer blue jeans, all, all those care tags like that. So already I know these were made after 2002 because 2002, is when the last um, Levi's blue jeans were made in the United States. Okay, so moving on, um, this this pile over here. When I looked at the care labels, I found on the pocket, like in the pocket area here on the left leg, I believe it is. You see what they call? They call that the red bat wing, and on the front of it there are some care instructions so this is going this and the fact that another thing i want to talk to you about is the salvage the salvage is the edging of stitching that you find on the pants leg now here you see a, a white overlock stitch 
if that would have been orange, um, it might have been early 80s, but it is orange meaning copper colored orangish. Because it's white, um, these were made like early 1990s, still okay. That's what I mean, these will sell for 75 or so dollars. So along with that and the bat wing, that lets me know because also here it says made in the USA. Okay, so on here, on your patch, the card patch, that's the 501. Okay, so another, a little bit more about this card patch. Uh, this here is a picture of a pair, a, a pair of blue jeans from the late 19th century or early, early 20th century. Now this, the original blue jeans, uh, the first ones that came out had a leather patch so and no writing on it so you can see yeah those would be real treasures so that's good to know another thing I want to talk to you about is and I circled this here I don't know if you can come up I'll show you here right in this area here is what they call a V stitch they did away with that V stitch in 1969 so you would know if you see that V stitch, you're like, oh good, these are older than 1969 or pre-1969. Here, I want to give you an example of this here, is showing you right there is a selvage that they used on the blue jeans, uh, the white, they call it the white selvage. Uh, this was pre-1985. And usually if you see a, a red line or a pink line going up through it, um, even older yet. So uh, those are some quick tips. But all these here have the popular button down front, rivet front. Okay, so that's a good thing too. So those are popular. People are looking for those. So on these, also I want to show you the back of the main rivet at the waistline. It's going to be hard to see, but there's three three numbers. Okay, so that also tells me that these blue jeans were made in the 90s, like after around like 1991. So these blue jeans are less than the year 20 or 2002, but more than likely post 1991. But I have a whole box of them here. And so, like I said, I believe and they don't care about condition. If you got a ripped up pocket, all the better. I mean, they love that. They love that natural wear stuff. Here's some here. I mean, as you get into the you know, trying to identify older blue jeans, there's more telltale signs. I mean, here you see a 501 XX. That states it's about 1993 or so. But the patch will tell a lot uh, if it's closer to the loop that would take it back in the 1960s again. Um, the zipper, like if you have a pair, let's see if I can find one here with the zipper front. Okay, nope, that's not one. Okay, um, another button up, button up. Let's see if this pile here has one. Thought I saw one. Okay, here's one with the zipper. If you have one that says uh, on the zipper, Zipper gripper, that's another way of identifying. Now, if you have totally no care instructions at all, then you're looking at like something from the 1960s or earlier. And like I said, I can't get into everything about, you know, there's different telltale signs that'll help you with 1950s, but always remember this, like what I was talking about right here, the main rivet. If there's a single digit right here, that means that you have possibility of 1950s, 1960s, 1970s, single digit. So that'll help you when you're in the thrift stores or whatever. So that's all I have to talk to you today about. Um, next time we talk, I think we're going to talk about, let me grab one of these, old record albums. This one here, uh, one of these, uh, you know, you don't see too much of Johnny Lee Hooker. 
Donnie Lee Hooker. Okay, we're going to talk about those next time. So till, till next time, happy treasure hunting. <laughs>